Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. But today we're going to be taking a look at the Android 13 beta part two on the Google Pixel 4a right here. So I've been using this device since about 2020. This device has been out for quite some time. It's the ultimate one handed device. It gives you everything you need with one camera sensor. Very it packs a lot of power in this little camera sensor right here, which is pretty crazy because this device is gonna offer so much for the price, right? And I've been using my Google Pixel 6 with the Android beta program already. I have that device running on Android 13. And one thing I noticed about Android 13 is that it will have some cool things about it. So we're gonna get into that. Make sure you stay locked into the end of the video. But if it's your very first time, I truly appreciate you for coming through, right? But if you're already a part of the crew, Salute. All right, so let's just jump into the Google Pixel 4a, right? I'm gonna go ahead, unlock my device. And one of the things I noticed about Android 13 on the Google Pixel devices is that it speeds up the Material U, making it a lot quicker. You also do get a lot more customizable backdrop colors like accented colors uh with the wallpaper options but look let's take a look at my device right here this is the google pixel 4a it has a nice snappy feel to it it still has a nice feel vibe um haptics feel pretty good on here it's a it's an ultimate one-handed device the best one-handed device you could probably get unless you're an iphone user and you get the mini right but check this out right because if you go into software update right i have right here this update will install a better version of android 13 it says the TPBB 220414 on your device to a pre release version. Contain, it may contain errors, defects that may um, affect the normal function of your device. To learn more, click here. So you can see right here, this is 1.82 gigabytes, a huge, enormous update right here. I'm going to hit the download button, but I want to get this guy on board with the Android 13, right? Because I have my my Google Pixel uh, 6 running on the Android 13, and it has been really solid so far. Haven't had any issues with it whatsoever, right? So, if you're um, if you have a Google Pixel 4 or up, maybe the 4a or up, definitely join me right here. Look, it says installation is paused, so we're gonna hit resume. But look, when it comes back on, and when the update is finished right here. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at everything because I did do a same video. I'll leave that up here for the Google Pixel 6, but we're gonna do it for the Google Pixel 4 uh, A this time. So, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be pretty cool, right? So let's just go take, take a look at it and see what's going on with it, right? I'm gonna get right back with you as soon as this thing finishes. It's probably gonna take a quick minute, like a hot minute. So maybe like an hour or so. So just give yourself some time for this to update. Then we'll kind of, uh, dapple with the features but if you're still here just type down below i'm still here so i know you're still chilling with me kicking it with me right but i'm gonna get right back with you i'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna continue with the update in just a second okay all right guys so let's take a look at some of the changes i haven't played around with the google pixel 4a yet but it just finished upgrading from the android 12 now we're running on the Android 13. So I'm going to put my lock pattern password in here, but basically they're going to give you a ton of different features. One of the features that they're giving you is auto theming on the icons. So um, it says right here, right here that the, the phone I'm going to show you right now has a nice feel to it. It still feels real snappy. It does fly through most of everything that you're going to be doing. Okay. All right, so let's go into settings. Let's go down below. Let's go into about phone, right? And then we're gonna go right here where it says Android 13, May 5th, 2022, Android 13. So you can see right here for yourself that we do have the Android 13 going on here. And let's just see the thing. So it's, it's still saying 12, right? It's still saying 12, but I just showed you guys officially um, in the settings that you're not going to get the new one you're just going to get because this is beta it's going to be that beta you're going to get the android 13 here so let's take a look at some of the different changes that is going on with the google pixel 4a okay auto theming for icons so let's just, just go into wallpapers you're going to notice that we have a ton more options right here for picking color palettes there's like uh you know um at least 20 to, to 16 different 
um, ways you could do it. You got basic colors here, so you could just customize the basic colors, or you could customize the wallpaper colors. You got theme icons right here. You could click that and it'll theme the icon automatically. So that's something that's pretty cool, okay? And then you got uh, something that's really cool, the, which is gonna be the more material you theming options. So basically, that's not really available, but it's called the tonal spot, the vibrant, and the expressive and spirit, which is not really available yet. But widgets look, you can see the widgets is right here. You're gonna get your now playing, you're gonna get your battery for your, your earphones, for your Google Pixel Buds. Everything uh, right here for your widgets is gonna be redesigned. And so they have something called alternative lock screen for the clock. So if you go into settings right now and just go into display okay all right and then hit that and then when you go right here it's going to give you some options right here you can increase the sensitivity you could boost the colors that was available before you do also can you can go into display you can go into lock screen and then right here it's going to give you the option to control from locked device so you can actually customize you can um external devices without unlocking your phone or tablet allowed um the device controls app so you also have this thing called double line clock which shows double line clock when available you could activate that you have um, now playing still available inside of the lock screen um you know functionality improvements basically it's going to be you know um several new utilities baked into the screen uh the baked into the scrolling screenshot uh, one-handed mode smarter uh auto rotate options on here so you can see we have uh all of our features up top right here let's click edit so we can see more down below so you do have the beta uh, right here you have your recorder you have your transcribe you have all of your color correction as well your camera access screen recording screencast live caption night mode everything is still baked in right there they also do give you native bluetooth le support which is something that they're also talking about here one of the things is that the animations and overall flow of the device just feels a lot smoother and quicker which is something that i like about it it flies through and um they do, do also have like this silent mode on here which is they, they say is like a true silent mode so you could do that or you could put it on vibrate um so you know they rework the audio output selector so if you want to go ahead lock your screen and then like let me see you could you can control the devices let me see if i could activate that part but if you're let's say you're listening to music on spotify okay and then you hit play I'm going to put that volume down right here. Let's see. And then so when what you want to do is basically, you know, you know, you go back in the settings, go back into display, go back into lock screen. And right here you can control uh, from lock device. So now if you lock display, you should be able to control. You can see right here I have my my new media player right here from the lock screen that looks really cool you can control it you see the squiggly line on the media player really cool animation i like that you could also change it from the right here you could click here and you can change it from your phone to any bluetooth speakers you want from the lock screen which is something that i really like too that just has a nice flow to it it feels really seamless and intuitive and it feels really clean you also do have secondary profiles for nfc payments if you do use nfc payments on here but the device overall just feels really nice smart home controls and unlock state as well so you can i don't have really anything that i'd use in my smart home or anything like that but i one of my favorite features about it is this new um, animation for when you're listening to music on Spotify or SoundCloud or any um, pretty much any like media playback it's gonna show some really cool features you also have privacy and security uh, uh, options here so I think this is a vast improvement right so let's go to security so when it comes to the security of this device Google has made a point to make the security a really important factor with this device so you're gonna get that uh, good security on here. It's going to basically let you know that your device is very up to date, which is something that I really like because it's going to give you full access over those controls for your, your security. And so you won't have to really worry about anything like that when you're dealing with this device. Security is not going to be a big issue when it comes to this device. But overall, it just has a really nice feel flow to it. Um, everything just moves really quickly on here as far as the overall software and you know um, 
everything. So I'm really impressed with this. The buttons still feel really good. The software still feels really nice. Uh, everything about it has a nice flow to it. This device still feels really premium overall. Uh, has a nice feel in the hand, form factor in the hand, privacy and stuff like that. You could also, what they're also saying is that you could privately um, use your photo picker so like let's say you were in Google Photos or something like that go right here into Google Photos and let's say uh, you wanted to privately select something right here what it's basically saying is that you can actually you know go into your photo albums right here let me go back uh, photos so everything is here it's going to show me all my photos right here uh, options right here select so if you select some of the things right here you can move to a different folder and it has a ton of different folders for you to move it to I'm not sure if they have the private folder yet on here but I know baked into the camera if you do um, decide that you want to save photos to like uh, you could I know on the Google Pixel 6 it has that feature you also have all your your stability stability modes like pen, uh, cinematic pan on the camera and stuff like that standard which was already in, involved with this device uh, integrated fast pairing uh, things like that but everything about this feels really good so far so I'm gonna um, kind of uh, tinker with it a little bit more but I really like the backdrop let me change the backdrop um, to the icons that's something that I like to do it just pick different color arrangements here so you got the green with the olive with the teal that looks really sick so let's like change the icon color from to that you can see right here it's gonna change in just a second you can see it's pink right now I picked this one and that should change on the backdrops or whatever you could change your grid on here but so far, uh, you know, you can see it's now it's green, so it took a minute to change, but it has a really nice feel and overall, um, you know, control to it. It's definitely going to really be good. One-handed operation is definitely easy to get to with this device, so if you want to use the device one-handed, it's going to give you that ability to do so. So let me know what you guys think about the Google Pixel on Android 13. Let me know if you found anything cool about the new software that they added onto here. But I'm going to play around with it a little bit more detail and I'll get right back with you. But make sure you have a great morning, afternoon, evening. And depending on where you are, have a great night. Later, group. Peace.